What's up guys? Today we are just going to be doing a little bit of Pokemon Unite. I'm in the game here with one of my friends that I met on just the regular Pokemon Unite online. You know, we like battle together and everything. So basically the plan here is we're going to see what we can do. And this is really low key. Um, if you guys want to hang out, thanks for joining. But um, if you're new here, we primarily do our Poke Explorers. We primarily do Pokemon Go, Pokemon Unite, um, TCG, old games, um, coloring books, everything. Um, and we're super excited for the upcoming um, Pokemon Championships in Hawaii. So um, that's basically like if you're here, new here, thanks for joining. And we're so excited to enjoy our love and passion for Pokemon with you guys. And man, we are just waiting forever in this waiting room, I feel like. But hopefully we're going to find a game soon. Um, sometimes I find it's better to um, do like a ranked match, you know. Um, sometimes the game plays better. You don't get as many bots. And finally, we're able to get into the lobby and see what my teammates need. So typically, I'll let other people pick first. And then I will go ahead and see if I need to be a defender or all around. I'll try and help my team. So um, Azu uh, Azum Azumarill is a good all around Pokemon. But sometimes like I'll play defense if my teammates need me to play defense. It just really depends. I like offense too. But it really it doesn't matter for me. I'll just help out wherever the team needs me. Um, I'm pretty... I'd say one of my favorites to play as is Azumarill. Um, you know, you like, I like to add these different things. You can see those three little, um, different entities or pictures like the crown, the half eaten apple, the headpiece. Those all are different, um, perks per se that you can use on your Pokemon. You power it up over time and it enables you, for example, like I get extra HP and I get extra speed, this little blue microphone there where, where Azura Mail's tail is. Um, you get extra speed and stuff, which is really helpful in the game. So my team looks really strong. We have Greninja, Pikachu, um, a baby Rowlet. Um, the baby Eevee is so cute. Oh, my gosh. So I'm going to first um, go up here <clears throat> and take on this little, um, just a level 2 Pokemon. Super straightforward. And then I'll farm a little bit in the jungle area and hang out with Eevee a little bit. That way we can power our Meryl up into Azuramil and get some points. That way, um, the faster you can level up at the beginning of the game, the better it is for your overall team. And I'm just going to drink a little bit of coffee here. So I'm sorry if that sounds annoying. And I'm still going to, so I usually, ch I usually choose the first two attacks, um, charge attacks I choose is bubble and tackle. Once I'm able to get bubble, then I go for whirlpool because it's, it's a semi range attack. You can attack a little bit from like a little bit further away from the distance. It's not like Rowlet where you can attack like from far, far away. You know what I mean? It's a semi, um, you know, I have a, I can distance myself a little bit from the, the um, other team Pokemon. And ugh, here's Mr. Mime. He's really, it's very hard to play against a Mr. Mime. They're very strong, very powerful. Um, I usually need a teammate to help me. And I, yes, Boom Baby was able to get that, um, score some Pokemon goals. And then, of course, the typing matters here. I'm able to kind of overpower the Charmander a little bit because I'm water. Uh, see if I can get them. So, yeah, that's a good example of why Whirlpool is a good one to use for Azura Mill because I was able to still attack the Charmander even though I was a little bit, you know, chunky. And I was a little bit slower getting there. I like to use Play Rough, too, because I'm able to land multiple attacks on the enemy Pokemon. I'm just going to run back to the base really quick here because, um, yeah, I'm a little tired and this little Azura Mill needs to heal. I'm only by myself down here right now, so I gotta be careful. I can't take them on too much by myself. And of course, War Turtle Blastoise, he will become very powerful and, and as the game moves on, so I have to kind of watch him. They've got a strong team, Mr. Mime and the War, War Turtle, but he's gonna, you know, become Blastoise. Let me know in the comments, guys, who you prefer to battle as. Um, Especially the all-arounder. I want to start training a different all-around, but I'm not sure who 
who should I start practicing with? Who should I use? Um, so let me know in the comments. And, you know, that's another thing, too, is, like, I need to start using more attackers as well. Because I typically, the other Poke Explorers who play, they usually choose attackers or all-around or supporters. So I end up usually trying to become an all-around or defender to help them out. So I'm really open to whatever you guys suggest in terms of uh, additional Pokemon. I'm just going to, yes, we're going to score 30 Pokeballs here. Boom, baby. And we broke it. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Oof. Leafeon's another really good one to... Um, I, I really enjoy playing as Leafeon. Um, I don't know who... I don't know which teammate that is up there, whoever chose Leafeon. But he or she, they're going to go attack one of the raid bosses, ba um, battle bosses there. So I'm just going to kind of come down here, see if anybody needs me, see if I... Let's see here. Maybe we can sneak four Poke Goals in. Poke Balls. Nice. And looks like there's quite a bit of commotion down here. So let's see what's going on. Um, Absol's really... Oh, gosh. I'm Guys, I'm probably going to die. Uh, Absol's really strong, especially with... Uh, yay, we got him. Um, especially since he had Mr. Mime backing him up. Because when Mr. Mime uses that shield, it blocks you in. So Mr. Mime's teammate can come in. And I'm personally not very good with Mr. Mime, but you can see how advantageous that would be. And then here's the, not Mammoth Mime, but like the teenager version. So I'm just going to kind of run away a little bit. Okay, if he really wants to battle, then we can go. Let's go, buddy. Ah, come on. So that was another like example of like why Play Rough is really good. Because when you use your Whirlpool, your semi- like, uh-oh, okay, I might die. Run, run as a run, run! Okay, well, at least we got the, at least we got one of them. But yeah, that's a really good example of, um, like, why you can use Whirlpool and then play rough back-to-back, -back because it's just a double two charge attacks. And I still have my Unite move, guys. We haven't even used the Unite, well, I have used the Unite move, but you know what I mean. Like, all of our attacks are ready. Let's see who we need to go help. So, I'm going to come down to the bottom here. Ah, uh, Gosh, that Blastoise is so strong. There we go. We got him. Go ahead, Pikachu. Thanks, buddy. Do you guys play with your mic on during Pokemon Unite? Sometimes I do. Sometimes it's just kind of variable. I really don't play too much because I'm trying to focus. But, I don't know. Maybe I should start trying to talk to my teammates. Maybe that would make us a little bit better. I am not really sure. Oh, gosh, Mr. Mime is so strong. That Decidueye, guys, if you want a ranged attacker, oh my gosh, Decidueye is awesome. I'm not super good with playing as Decidueye, but whenever I have teammates that play, man, he is one tough Pokemon. Like, it is, it's awesome when you're, when you're having that ranged attacker to help you out. Very, very strong. They they did a great character build for Decidueye. Well, it looks like um, <clears throat> me and my friend are just hanging out here. We're going to split and then go... Uh-oh. They're all up here. Let me see if I can... Oh, gosh. Oh, Charizard definitely used his charge attack on me. So... Oh, man. I don't... Ah, uh, run! No, Leafeon. I wish Leafeon would have ran away with me, but it was too late. Gosh, that team is strong up there. <clears throat> I'm going to drink a little bit more coffee, guys. Sorry if that's annoying. All right, let's go help the let's go help the crew. Oops. Let's go help the crew. Here we go. Boom, baby. You are battling our team. We are going to defend this goal, let me tell you. Yeah, don't think about it, mister. Awesome. Yeah, if we just, it's all, uh, one of the cool things about Pokemon Unite, it works really well when you do actually work as a team. Like, look at this. Look how strong oh, our crew oh. is right here. There's all four of us here. <clears throat> Reggie. Okay, somebody's attacking him. But here's Absol. Ooh. I gotta be careful, because that Charizard, even though he's fire, he really kicked my butt earlier um, with his charge attack. 
And don't forget too, guys, to power up your charged moves as you like level up and stuff. Sometimes I get so busy playing, I forget to like click the button, you know. Ah, run, 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 run. Oof. Man, that Blastoise is powerful. We got 13 seconds till the raid, the the final raid boss pop appears. So, oh man, how is this Mammoth gaining on me? I should probably, I should probably readdress my speed. That's one thing about Azure Mill is I need to make his character build a little bit faster. That way I can run away from the enemies and I gotta just recover the final right stretch. now. And then now we're gonna go help You're the crew. Fire. I don't know. Bottom, top, top. No, bottom. Yeah. Okay. Seems to be a battle royale in here. There's Rayquaza. I'm gonna get this Mr. Mime. We got him. Ah! Uh, you got him! You got him! What yes! Goal. Oh boy. 50 ball Pokeballs. So, if I'm able to, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can score up at the top here. Because I think they're all going to be guarding the one down there. Oh, boy. Absol's right there. Maybe I can sneak behind. Oh, Charizard. Ugh. Run, Azura Mill. Run! Ah! Alright, I got the green sphere of protection. So, now... Let's see if we can score some Pokeballs into the You're goal. All right. Boom, baby. Not too shabby for an all-arounder. No, it goal. just... It really goes back to... If you can beat Rayquaza at, at the... Um, if you can defeat Rayqu Rayquaza, your team has a huge advantage at the end of the game. Um, just because you get this green little orb of protection. Surrender? Why are we trying to surrender, guys? What? Who did that? That's so silly. We're we're doing so well. I personally don't ever click surrender. I always there's like there's been games I've been at the bottom and then we've been able to win at the end. So I I don't I don't give up until the very end. Okay, can we score one more Poke Goal? Yay! We did it. All right, so let's kind of check some in-game stats here. Three, two, one. And <clears throat> sometimes I like to look at like the battle stats. Sometimes I do. Sometimes I don't. Yeah, I don't know why they were wanting us to surrender. Whoever was like recommending that is silly. All right, good job, everybody. Yeah, the ranked battles, like, reset recently, so just kind of have to restart all that. 